We are going to demonstrate how to use the R package Bradley Terry 2. Bradley Terry or BT models use contest history to estimate the log odds that a given contestant will outperform another in a competition. Players can be sports teams, results in a search engine, wild animals competing for access to territory, or pretty much anything that wins and loses. Let's get started by installing the Bradley Terry 2 package and its dependencies. Let's import our data. We'll use a record of wins and losses from 145 fictional trials involving 40 western fence lizards. Here's what one of those trials might look like. Each row in this spreadsheet represents a contest between two lizards. The winner's ID is in the left column and the loser's is in the right. We suspect that size, or SVL, and testosterone differences can help us determine who will win. So in addition to the record of trials, we have another CSV file with information on these parameters for our 40 lizards. We'll import these CSV files together and join them into a list called LizDat. We need to specify the levels of the factors in the data frames as well. For this example, the levels are just the lizard's IDs 01 through lizard 40. Bradley Terry 2 has several functions and arguments to render data usable by the main modeling function BTM. For instance, if we had a contingency table where every row represented the outcomes of many contests between the players, we would use the counts to binomial function. We do not need to do this in our example data frame because every row already specifies the winner and loser. Next, we'll call the BTM function on the list we've created in order to fit a BT model. The second and third arguments tell us which column in our data frame contains the winner's ID and the loser's ID. We get a data frame with estimates of each lizard's ability. We've used the refcat equals lizard02 argument to specify lizard02 as the reference lizard because he has the lowest ability. This way, all the ability estimates will be positive, but this isn't really necessary. Disregarding the few estimates with very high SEs, we can see that Lizard19 has the highest ability, 8.7786, and that this is significant. When we examine the original CSV file, we see that Lizard19 won almost all of his contests, so his high ability ranking makes intuitive sense. But what do these abilities mean quantitatively? Suppose Lizard 19 faced Lizard 17. Lizard 17's ability score is 7.02338. By subtracting Lizard 17's BT predicted ability from Lizard 19's, we can determine that the log odds that 19 wins against 17 is 1.7448. Say we're more interested in what makes a lizard a champion. We have information on body size and testosterone levels for all of the contestants. To incorporate this information, we'll again use the BTM function with added terms for these predictors. We can tell that testosterone is a highly significant predictor of which lizard will win, and size is pretty close. Bradley Terry 2 also comes with several sample data sets source from everything from school rankings to ice hockey. By exploring these, you can learn how to fit more complex models that account for random effects, ties between players, predict a new player's ranking, and add terms to consider things like home field advantage and winner effects. In short, every lizard should learn how to use the Bradley Terry 2 package before deciding who to pick a fight with.